everyone and welcome back to another 3 Minutes of 3. Today we're going to talk about the importance of taking good photos. So taking good photos can really elevate your ironwork in a prospective buyer's eyes. And you, it's important to take really good photos. Now we did, we did a 3 at 3 just here recently on some about the camera gear. We were talking about these little point and shoots and the difference between something like a professional rig like this Nikon D7000, hashtag not sponsored by any of these companies. Um, again, we'll put the links to these so you can read them, read up on them, or if you want to purchase, those are affiliate links in the description as well. Um, but you can start taking really good photos with something as simple as your little point and shoot. Uh, a lot of times these are out the door anymore and people can do really good photos with just your cell phone. Um, there's a lot of high quality cameras there that you can do and take perfect shots mm -hmm. for doing a listing like on Etsy. Yeah, and there's a lot more that goes into a good photograph than just the camera itself. Mm -hmm. It goes, there's things like setting that affects the photograph. There's things like lighting, like if you have too harsh mm -hmm. of a light or if you don't have, if it's too harsh, the item's going to look real stark and yep. or it may even, um, if the lighting's too bright, it could bleed out the colors, mm -hmm. like where you're not getting the accurate coloring. Yeah, and pro tip, don't use flash. Yeah. It's not needed. <laughs> no, no. Uh, one thing you know I recommend is natural lighting. So if you're going to be taking photographs outdoors, you need to find an area that's uh, either, either do it on an overcast day or find an area where it's um, kind of shaded so you're not getting the direct sunlight. You're getting diffused lighting. Yeah. Diffused lighting, yes. Yep. And if you're inside your house, you know, uh, get the item near a window where you're getting lots of that natural lighting, but again, not the direct light mm -hmm. to get it, to get the most amount of detail on yep. it. And shooting outdoors, shooting with natural lighting is one of the best ways that we have found to be able to highlight a lot of our ironwork and things like that. And it doesn't require a lot of kit to do that. You know, you see, if if you go artificial lighting, you have got to have an entire setup. I mean, you've got to sh I mean, you've got to shut off, blank out all natural outdoor lighting. You've got to control everything about the shoot, every ounce of light that's going on that product. You've got to control it. Mm -hmm. uh, if there's weird shadowing, you've got to eliminate it. You've got to you've got to adjust all that, and that can get quite expensive. Um, so you know, the best way to get started, say you have your little point and shoot, just do your little point and shoot, and then shoot that lighting outdoors. So that's going to be it for this three minutes of three. Thanks for watching. And as always, God bless you. And we'll catch you on the next one.